guys, my name is Kayla Clark. I am the Science Education Outreach Coordinator and Program Administrator for Pharmaceutical Sciences um, here at Campbell University in the College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences. And I just want to talk to you a little bit today about um, our four undergraduate programs that we have. So we have an undergrad program for nursing, pharmaceutical sciences, clinical research, and pre-pharmacy. Um, for pre-pharmacy, that will prepare you, obviously, to go to pharmacy school. Um, it's two years um, of pre-pharmacy curriculum, and then you can go into pharmacy school if you get accepted, or you can choose to work on an undergrad degree in pharmaceutical sciences or clinical research um, until you get accepted to pharmacy school. Or if you just want to complete an undergrad degree before you go to pharmacy school, you can do that as well. Um, our pre-nursing program, um, you would come in and, and do two years of pre-nursing um, to prepare you and, and help you get the prerequisites for nursing school. Um, once you complete those first two years, you would be able to apply to nursing school and be, if you get accepted, um, then you can go into our nursing program um, for your junior and senior year. Um, our nursing program, the very first class that we graduated um, a few years ago, had a 100% passage rate on the NAPLEX, which is the standardized test in order for you to get your um, nursing license. Um, so that was very incredible, especially with it being our very first class. Um, so pharmaceutical sciences and clinical research, um, you've probably heard a little bit more about them in the news lately because of COVID. Um, so pharmaceutical sciences and clinical research go hand in hand. They are separate degrees that you can get, but they definitely work closely together. So pharmaceutical sciences um, you is more in the lab. Um, you would work with um, research and development and trying to figure out, um, <clears throat> for an example, how to cure COVID or how to come up with the vaccine or how to cure cancer or diabetes or anything like that. Um, any kind of medication that you take has, um, you know, been formed in the lab and it's been created and thought about um, through this long process of how best to help the patient. Um, and whether it's a pill or a cream or, you know, if you have asthma, you might use an inhaler, um, any type of thing like that. You, it's, you know, the different types of dosages, um, different types of formulations. Um, you can also work in the State Bureau of Investigation. Um, if you like you know, crime TV, CSI, criminal minds, those types of things, you've seen um, how they do toxicology reports and they work in the lab and try to figure out um, things like that. Um, that's definitely something that you can do. And um, you can also work in cosmetics. Um, any kind of lotions or creams or makeup that you put on your face or anything like that all has to go through a vetting process and be approved um, for, for human use. Um, so those are just a few things that you can do with pharmaceutical sciences. There's, there's just so many things that you can do. Um, with clinical research, after the stuff has been done in PharmSci, then it goes to clinical research because you have to do clinical trials with humans, right? You don't want anybody to get sick or have um, major reactions or even die because, you know, the, the product wasn't approved um, through the FDA before it was um, put, on, put out in the market. Um, so that's where clinical research comes in hand clinical trials on medications or devices like pacemakers or anything like that um, <clears throat> have to be done. You can work in regulatory affairs where you work with the FDA to ensure that all the paperwork is, is done and, and everything has been approved. Um, you can work in clinical research organizations such as Cineos Health, if you're in the Raleigh area you've heard of that. Um, you may have heard of Quintiles, which is now IQVIA. Um, that's definitely a, a big clinical research organization. There's so many that you can you can work at. Um, Pfizer that you've heard of with the vaccine has pharmaceutical scientists and clinical researchers working hand in hand at, at their company. Um, and there's various companies like that. Um, so if you come to Campbell um, for any of those health science programs, um, we would love to have you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. My email address is kclark, C-L-A-R-K, at campbell.edu. Um, and if you just want to check out our website, uh, campbell.edu is where you can find all that information. Um, and we do have, hopefully coming up this summer, some opportunities for you to um, kind of see what goes on here at campus and get a little bit more um, information about those programs uh, through STEM camp or Discovery Days. 
unfortunately they will have to be virtual we won't be able to host anybody on campus because of covid um, which is the worst part about all of this is i can't see your beautiful faces and get to talk to you and show you around campus so you guys can see our facilities um, but we do the best we can with virtual i know everybody is so tired of it i know that i am um, but i hope soon with the vaccines and you know wearing your mask and everything that we can get back to a new normal and you guys can be able to come here and I can be able to come to your school and, and visit you guys and do some activities. So until then, I hope that this video has been informative and has piqued your interest a little bit. Um, again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me um, and I will see what I can do to help you. I hope you guys have a great day.